There's a big air show going on at Nellis today. <laughs> So we are on Nellis currently trying to figure out who's going at this stop sign. Nobody is. Hello. <laughs> we are at Nellis today trying to figure out all the stuff that we have I mean, to at least get started on doing. I mean, I need to shit out of Popeyes though. I don't biscuits. want Popeyes. The biscuits though. Oh my God, the buttery, fluffy biscuits. So we're going into the BX right now and we're going to get some food and then we're going to, right we have to get, maybe, we have to get him some uniform stuff. So we're gonna get some uniforms. Yeah, you can park there. Oh, yeah. Do well, it, sometimes man. Sometimes there's like nameplates, like yeah, but general. Colors. Usually this that's a lot closer out. to yeah. the actual. Like you never know. We don't drive on base a whole lot, quite obviously. There's no point in being here for me. I know. They have the air show going on this weekend. That and today's Friday, so it's like the military only day. So it's not open to the public like oh, really? it will be tomorrow. Yeah. And so they're doing. Oh, there. Look, yeah. they're upside down. Ooh. What size are you? Small, extra short. I have no idea. What? Small, extra short, or extra small, regular. I don't know. We have to try on a few. Here, g give me your, give me your glasses, and then just, just go for it, man. Just go. I know this is the new material, right? Mm -hmm. That actually See, looks yeah. really good. Yeah, that looks good. Just get more of the sizes that. Are sold out the day they come. Yeah, I know. Because like it's the beginning of November and not getting another shipment for a month. Which isn't gonna help us. What about what about like a fleecy thing? If it's gonna be cold. Nah. You don't want one. Okay. So you should probably get a pair of long pants and a pair of shorts. Triple extra wide. Really? Quadruple extra wide. Wow. Medium extra short. Hey, that might work actually. Hold that. I'll hold it. No, that's okay. the only one. Looks like this is your only option. I don't know. I mean, that's pretty short. That is so silly looking. Well, we are still kind of wandering around base. The thing is that Blake, I guess, has an appointment on Monday, but he doesn't know where all of the, the places he has to go are. So I know, we're okay, I know where that place is now. Yeah, no. So we're just kind of looking around ahead of time because it's like the first day of school, you know, and it's if you don't know where your classes are, you don't want to be late. So it's kind of <laughs> like that, except an actual appointment. So he can't be late. Look, we found the other place. It was like the deployment center or whatever. It's like a big building. What's this place? What does the door say? It's what? Okay, maybe not. Yeah, I didn't. I well, didn't because think so. she explained one of the things was there's a white overhang at one of the buildings, and it's the only one. It's the only one with a door or something like that. I don't know. Oh, so we're still lost. <laughs> it would be good to find legal too. Lilo, I think, is on the main side of base. We're on the hospital yeah. side right now. So do we want to go do that now? Mm. Or do you want to do that another day? We could do it another day. I got time. Okay. Yeah, they pushed his deployment date back, not by much, but a little bit. <laughs> so we get a little bit more time to do everything we were going to do, which is great because the notice that they gave before was <laughs> literally like no time whatsoever. <laughs> we were frantically trying to do things, but now we have a little bit more time, which is good. Today we are being kind of lazy fatties and we went to KFC. This is the first time I have personally had KFC yeah. since I was like 10 or so. I think I've only had it like once or twice in my life. I can't decide if this looks super delicious or super disgusting. Probably a bit of both, okay, but I'm good. really excited to eat this, so uh, well, we're gonna dive in. So Blake. What? How would you rate this KFC experience? Yeah, it was okay. 
on a scale of okay one to, to one okay. to ten like a five yeah like a five they didn't have extra crispy mm -hmm. well they had extra crispy of two pieces the mm -hmm. rest of them were just re regular it's extremely greasy uh-huh kind of feel like dying i only had like total of four pieces out of ten i know <laughs> So we have some leftovers. <laughs> Are we actually gonna eat them? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. KFC experience was <laughs> far more underwhelming than I thought it would be. It always sounds way better. Yeah, because the pictures are like super crispy and not greasy. Yeah. And it turns out to be opposite. the opposite of that. Oh, we had KFC. We haven't died yet. But there's still time. Yeah. I forgot how greasy it was. Yeah. You know what I mean? The the very few times I've been to KFC, it's been like this exact same experience where it okay. sounds really, really good, and then I get it. Okay, okay. What? Uh-oh, did I leave that in there? What the hell is this doing in the first? <laughs> I'm sorry. I look oh, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh, dang. She wanted it. Noelle, do you want this? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Come here, come here, come here. I didn't realize you really wanted this. Okay. <laughs> do you want it? Are you I sure? It. I need it. Do you want it? Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Starbucks. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? It is Saturday morning here in Las Vegas. It's super sunny, but my hands are full, so I can't put my sunglasses down from on top of my head. Also, trying to figure out how I'm gonna open this door with the camera. Hold up. There's a big air show going on at Nellis today. Today's the actual day. Shh, will you stop? I have to clear my throat. Jesus. So yesterday they were doing like practice runs and everything. Um, so we saw like bits and pieces of it, but today's like the actual air show. Oh, we're gonna go check out this air show and see exactly what's going on. It's gonna be a wonderful day, I think. We just got out of Starbucks. Blake got his I lemon. Love these I know the lemon pound cake is like his favorite thing in the entire world. Is it good? No. Can I have a bite? No. Please. It better be tiny. I'll even take that side Small that has spot. like not that much frosting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Every time I taste something lemony, even if it's like lemon pound cake like that, yeah. it tastes like it's healthier than I know it is. Like there's something about the flavor of lemon that feels light and healthy. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Where is he? There he is. Right there. So Blake was a total dunce. Blake forgot he had his knife on him and tried to like walk through the. Well, I had it out. I was like. And she's like, "Yeah, you can't bring that in okay, here." So he had to walk the all the way back to the car and put it away. The F twenty two. You got to move over here, but it's up right here, inside the wing. So inside, kind of that sh that white right winger, there's a little door. It's about this big, and that door pops open, and the gun shoots from out from inside the airplane. This one's an F-35. Can't really get close to it though. <laughs> sure. We can't sit in these ones though. The other ones you can like sit in and like chill in, but not not the uh, not the fancy ones. The F-22 and F-35. I think they brought the static. Oh yeah. Yeah. The one that you set up before. Yeah, I want to go see it. Okay, sweet. Piece of shit, it's static. That thing's so fucked up. Why? Because it's missing so many pieces, and really? things are held in by like one screw. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's kind of sad. If you get close to it, you can tell. So this is what you work on. Yeah. You want to get close? If you're like, nah, I see them every day. Yeah. <laughs> this is nothing exciting. Get after yeah. <laughs> Yes. 
as the ref for Bankston from the left and cycles his weapons bay doors. Folks, if you've ever wondered where those bomb signals hide, here is your answer. It smells like freedom. It does smell like freedom. <laughs> um, Gunpowder. <laughs> we just watched the F-22s and what were the Korean F-22, they're F-86 Sabres. F-86 Sabres. They were just doing their little demonstration. And so I think, I think the Thunderbirds are, oh yeah, they're walking out. Oh yeah. See? So we're going to go check out the cool planes that they have kind of on display right over here. So we got a strawberry lemonade a frozen strawberry lemonade refresher thingy. Oh, fun experience. It tastes like high school. Like they used to sell them at the little snack bar in our high school. We're at the big plane area. So this is C-130. What does the C-130 do? What does it fly for? Cargo. Cargo. Stuff. You want to see the C-5? Yeah, we're going to go check out the C-5. This is the biggest one, right? You can fit like a tank or another plane inside. It's huge. just me because I think it's a pretty normal thing it's to like, do. It's like, does anybody else put the huge cracked eggshells back in the freaking container? Is that just me? Ashley does. She commented on our videos and said, yeah, I get in trouble for doing that too. Yeah, so you get in trouble for it because it's wrong. It's not wrong. It's just different. No, it's wrong. Okay, growing up, I my mom always put the cracked 
eggshells back into the container when you were done instead of throwing them away, and I guess that's not normal. Then you can't so. look at it and count how many you have. You have to go physically go through and touch every single one of them. You don't have to oh, touch them. Oh, this one's used. Oh, well, that should be the garbage. I think it should be pretty obvious which ones don't have any actual egg in them, though. But did anybody else do this? We were big milk drinkers in my house. Like, it was a big thing that everybody used to do in our house. We used to get milk delivery we and everything like that. Milk. Well, when I was growing up, there was like the date, like the expiration date on the milk container. The expiration date on the milk containers was always like an indication of how far away certain events were to me. If you got a gallon of milk in the beginning of December, the gallon of milk's expiration date would be oftentimes after Christmas. And that was always really exciting when we got that gallon of milk because I was like, you know what? This gallon of milk is gonna go bad after Christmas time, which means Christmas time's really close. And so I used to like judge the dates based off of gallons of milk. And so like this gallon of milk goes, did you say it goes bad tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, today, so November 9th. So the next gallon of milk we get is probably gonna be after Blake leaves for his deployment. So that kind of is freaky because that's like, you know, there's like a, I don't know. It just, it just is a different way of looking at time, I guess. And I, hey, don't eat that. Give that back, give that back, give it back. Thank you. Got the cap. I don't know if that's just me, but that's how I always used to figure out dates and stuff back when I was growing up, I guess. <laughs> too strong. She's like, get off of me. Oh my God. So we've decided that we're gonna get Chris, or <laughs> we're gonna get Noelle a Christmas sweater this year because then I can send pictures of Noelle in her Christmas sweater under the Christmas tree for Christmas. You didn't get a Christmas sweater last year, but you got a Christmas collar. Yeah. You remember? Mm -hmm. That's where the bow the bow collar came from, and now you need a new one because you don't have a bow anymore. No. And now I think we, we should just jump in off. straight to the Christmas sweater. Mm -hmm. I think that's a better idea. We're gonna go get Noelle a Christmas sweater. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because we put out videos. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. At? Five. O'clock Pacific time. Mm -hmm. Side note, I think we're actually in Pacific Standard Time now. I think for the longest time I was saying Pacific Standard Time when it was Pacific Daylight Time, but I'm pretty sure we're in it's Standard Time now. Seven. Yeah, I know. S -s Wait, are we in Daylight Savings now or do we just get out of it? I don't know. Whatever. I can never keep up. No, Pacific Standard Time. We're Pacific. in Pacific. Yeah. Pissed. That's what I thought. Okay, so anyway, but we're going to. negative eight GMT. Now? Yeah. But it was. No, it was negative seven. You're just down. Okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you. What day is it? We'll see you on Wednesday. Bye. The day before Warlords comes out. Ooh, you excited? Yeah. Except I'm gonna be kind of busy that day. I'm yeah, sure. playing more. Well, then you could come home and play it. Yeah, but I, I get to go shoot that day. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh. Practicing. Yeah. Look Defending at the base if the Air Force has to. Defend the base, so it's probably taken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna talk to you guys on Wednesday. Bye. Mm -hmm.